This is what the trees at this orchard look like. If you'll notice, <clears throat> there's a difference in color between these trees and these. Now that could be due to a number of reasons, but if they're all the same variety, then there's most likely something that's different either in the rootstock or in the soil. So now I'm going to spray an indicator on the tree to see if it's what I think it is. And I'm suspecting it's an iron deficiency, but the sprays will help. <clears throat> so in this bottle, this sprayer, I've put together a little bit of um, miracle Grow fertilizer, the amount needed for this size bottle and water. And then I added some iron. In this particular case, this is the EDDHA chelated iron because I'm not sure what the alkalinity of this water is. So I'm using something that's uh, chelated iron that could be used in uh, various different uh, alkalinities. And EDDHA will do that. So now <clears throat> I'll come to this tree that shows yellowing and I'll spray it. I'll spray it with enough fertilizer from this bottle so that it, uh, on just an indicator, just uh, on an indicator branch, I'll spray it with enough fertilizer so that I can come back to it. I'll mark it and then I'll come back and check it later on because what will happen if it is an indicator, if this is an iron deficiency, I'll see some changes in the coloration of this branch in a matter of hours, but I'll check on it tomorrow. So now that I'm done spraying this branch with iron, To the point of runoff in other words I want to put enough water fertilizer mixture on this so that the solution will drip from the tree now I'll go ahead and take I'll put this on the ground use it a little bit later and now I'll use a piece of uh, nursery tape to mark that branch and I'll, it's important because if it doesn't work, you'll never find it again. You'll, you'll come back out here and you'll go, which branch did I spray? You won't remember it. So now I'll go ahead and tie this onto this branch so I can find it again. This is that green nursery tape. There, now it's in there. I'll be able to find it again, and that's the branch that was sprayed. I'll repeat this on several different trees. This, uh, this in this particular orchard, there are about over 3,000 trees in here, so I'm seeing the yellowing occurring in the spring of the year uh, on about 1% of the trees, about uh, about 1% uh, of 3,000 is about 30 trees. So about 1.5% of the trees are showing it. I'm seeing it mostly in peaches. This is a peach. I'm seeing it also in plums. And again, like I said, it could be the rootstock. But uh, I won't know that until I check. That's why it's so important to keep track of which rootstocks you're planting. So look, if you look at this tree, it's dark green. It doesn't have a problem with yellowing. But this one is yellowing. And that could be a problem with the soil, could be a problem with the rootstock, but it's happening over the entire tree. So it's been sprayed.